Hello viewers and welcome to our program Meet Our Guest and in this program we shall be zooming in to the lives of our special guests here at Pittsburgh Leisure Center and uh, today Andrew Utra was in Dinamuna, Upisa and Tsika Nasi and by the way my name is Glide Dinamutenda Ishishudziwa aka Nyandui and I am Martha Zirambi aka Queen Sarah yeah, and the is as the couple. So today, Tina and Nicola, the former nuns, the other two nuns, the other two nuns, the other two nuns, the other two the bandits. So Nicola, welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, the two nuns, the other two so Nicola, who exactly is Nicola? Nicola Mutua is a, a daughter, a mother, a, a hustler, a musician by profession. Um, I've been in the industry for, for over five years, but digital um, making vocals for so many artists big and small, studio sessions, big stages, small stages, uh, locally, internationally, as you say. Mm. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we, we want to know, what you, you, you said you've been in the industry for five years. More than five years. More than five years. years. Okay, let's go back to before those five years. Uh -huh. How did you discover that you are gifted in, in music? How did you discover your talent? Oh, wow. Um, uh, I discovered it in church. I know it's a, it's a cliche story everyone says, but that's what happened. I discovered it in church. Um, choir, oh yes. Um, but um, I have people that discovered my potential before I knew my potential, but yeah, uh, from church, that's where I discovered it. So in other words, you're a church girl. <laughs> <laughs> or church person. <laughs> Both, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, okay. So, in your introduction, what type of music do you do? Uh, I think it's a little bit of confusion, mm -hmm. because I've worked with so many genres. I've worked with jazz, dance, or a R and B, Eben Thank you. Uh, so um, but I have come to settle in um in Afro pop, Afro jazz and jazz as a whole. But this is really traditionally based because I am proud of who I am. I'm Zimbabwean, I'm African Saga. So most of it is traditionally based, but with a touch of jazz or pop or yeah. Yeah, to hear you uh, I hear you say uh, you are proud of uh, who you are. Because <laughs> uh, based on our tradition, I see a lot of people which clash uh, Christianity and tradition. <laughs> what, what do you say? What, what would you tell um, the people? I think I think people confuse religion and 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 arts to a certain extent. African religion. Christianity Mira is just an instrument, just like the piano. This is actually called the one which is a thumb piano. This is a sheet in here. And it's like a one year old piano here in my keys, you have to look at the other one that you know. Which is one in the same thing. This, I am all my instruments, every artist now originally in Africa. In, in Zimbabwe, so to say. It's like a, it's a genuine, it's like a machine. It is literally gospel music, African gospel music. It is based in India. It's like a, it has nothing to do with it. How do you want to borrow my instrument at the same time? Right, so to put this down. It is a good thing, my shy, you don't need to be like, guys, 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 stop it. Right, so. Uh... All jazz lovers. 
Nicola and the Bandits. Saturday, October 30, starting at 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Only at Spitzkop Leisure Center, located just after Kuwazana, opposite White House. No vaccination, no entry. No cover charge. Only the first 100 patrons to enter before the gate is closed. See you soon. It's funny, my inspiration is my mother and my father. Because they're so musical. My mother, Ray Bang Choir, the Dwayne of Firewall Music. So it was one of those you're growing up in a house where your mother and your father wake up in the morning, they start singing to each other and playing by the chords. You tell me, Mama, I know, yeah, but she's not kids, but I have to remember. And you just look at them and say, like, wow, those beautiful voices. I also want to be like that. Then, Mukukura, Mugwa, who just got Goma, artists that are saying, like me, I don't have uh, artists, but not only artists, one. Because I have my different artists that I listen to and I pick certain things that work for me. Like, I could say, no one will try to do money. I like her confidence. Uh, so I give her more resources, just don't know. Then, no one will try to do money. Jenny, I go. You know what? You don't find out what's that one. So I guess what? Ah, not to me. But still, the father is really confident that it's and I told her that I was going to be a good one. 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 I was exposed to everything. So I like everything. So my, my main inspiration is my father. Oh, look at that. Such a church. Chichi. Chichi, Papa. Mm -hmm. I've heard you saying that uh, you've been inspired by my parents. And she won't want to be another Jinj Vanita, Jinja, 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 Actually, my story is, is um, of course, I was inspired by my parents. They were not musicians. Um, but in the room, we pinned our fans in Europe. We put our hands in the same room. We should have a daddy. We should I think it's just a case of just being misunderstood as an artist. So sometimes you have to prove yourself. And as a sure, uh, the art industry is a very tricky industry. Sometimes you do get the Ugo Rasika Vishwa, Ugo Puva Vishwa, wherever put it, there's a maroon, there's a maroon. So I guess it's, it's, for me, I took it like going to college. There's no mommy, there's no daddy there, there's just you. So it's either you're gonna grab that chance and use it for the better, or you're going to lose your way. So yeah, I decided to grab my chance. So what, what, what was your first step that you made? Uh, when you discovered that this is me, what was uh, the first step? You uh, would see, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, Yo! My first, first step. Um, I would say, um, there are so many steps that I can say with my first, but the most defining one was just so recently when um, I did uh, the Zimbabwe Jazz Festival. Um, I was approached by one of those who were and you are just a small artist. No one in your head will choose that. But now you don't want to be in the industry. But the humble people are making a statement. She can go and see. She can go to South Africa. She can go to other parts of the world. She can go to Nepal. She can go to India. Meaning, there are people out there, but we don't know what's going on. 
big, you know. Um, when I'm in the studio and making music, and this is when I'm in the music, since I am proud to love it, I don't want to keep it here at home. But I'm gonna start at home. Everything begins at home. But I see myself on international stage. You know, um, traveling, not even having me time, you know. Because I've, I've had moments like those where I've been busy for, for so many artists. I've been, I've been, I would say I've been one of the loyal, loyal, most loyal backing vocalists in the industry. I, 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 I get to work and then the chicken the chitty and the book and the ones you had already before that you go. No, you know, I have sometimes you don't want to cheat at me, like sometimes you don't want to work on such things. What I mean, what I so because of the experience that I've gained in the industry, I say myself, I'm not even having, 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 so in that time, teachers and my journey has been one of the toughest lines. Like any other person, but I've always had people give me a push. So you know what I'm gonna do that anyway. And I I might not be there in the physical, but I'll be there. <laughs> so maybe message you know what I'm gonna do. Hi, okay, just to check. Alright, so Nicola. You see, from a perspective of Malaysia, Centre, of Rwanda, I think we have been here before. So, before now, say this vision, whatever that we are trying to build here. All jazz lovers. Nicola and the Bandits. Saturday, October 30, starting at 5 pm to 9 pm. Only at Spitzkop Leisure Centre, located just after Kuwazana, opposite White House. No vaccination, no entry. No cover charge. Only the first 100 patrons to enter before the gate is closed. See you soon. Um, Spitzkop is a very nice and homey place. It's got... The, the, the first time I've been here, um, the only one time I've ever been here, apart from today, is um, I felt at home. Even the, the guests, Wangawari people, they just accommodate you. So I would say you guys are doing a great job here. Um, I can see there's even still construction going on. It means, could I, I, I can't really give you advice at the moment because I, I'm not sure how big this place is going to go because I see big, big, you know, I wouldn't be here. Well, actually, I still would be here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still would be here, actually. If that's a lie. I still would be here. Because I, at least I'm in my own show. Because we never know, yeah. you know what comes out of it. But I see big things. I mean, when one is system, I wish you my areas. You know, put it in such an area, nothing basic will come out of it. It's just like when people look at the bed or one day. This place, uh, I don't know about it, actually, you know, but now I do, and I'm happy to have been posting so much about <laughs> this place because I see potential. It's a, it's got, um, I see playground for kids. I see it as a, as a family oriented place. I'm a serious, serious believer in family. Yeah. Uh, so this is a super nice hangout for family, you know, for, for so many functions. I'm sure they can even, you guys do the weddings, yeah. Yes. You know, corporate functions, parties. So yeah, come through to Spitzkop Leisure Center. Yeah, you know. I've heard it. Uh, <laughs> come through to Spitzkop Leisure it's Center. The Best place to be. <laughs> it's very convenient to everyone. Mm -hmm. yes. We are a So, um, 
Tell us uh, more about um, the bandits. Uh, all right, again, <laughs> good time. Could you come up with that name, the bandits? Wow. Um. <laughs> Um, the bandits. It was actually a joke to be honest. <laughs> we were discussing in the group as a band, and people were like, um, So the our keyboard is the name is Caleb. He called me Mom. Okay. It's like, Mom, what are we going to call ourselves? Hi, yeah, yeah, Caleb. I don't know. We call my bandits. So let me just say Nicola and the band. <laughs> you know, okay. and they all laughed. You know. The next day, we uh, run a group name Ravich, Ravens Nicola and the band. It's like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it was just wow. a joke! Wow. And no, 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 we like it. Mm -hmm. It's my it's fine. Mm -hmm. you know. And my bandit one, we have a cashier, everybody. You know what? Come what may, it's gonna make it somehow. So mm -hmm. let's sold your own man. Yeah, but and just like that. Yeah, just <laughs> that's the one that was in Kakata with the dog until we get where we want to get, which is unknown because we just we're just limited. Yeah, I am a bandit to the four. We see good could name big names in the world, but a big games are but they never got a chance to do it about the national tours. Yes. I am a bandit to the four. Yeah, my bandit was uh the C is a senior. And even just getting to the spotlight, it's not that easy. So tell us more. How, how, how is it? Is it uh not a zero flow? Um, you know, um, uh, the most wise people always say, when a road is just running smooth, there's some people. For me, it's, it's not easy. It's, it's not easy at all. It's, um, like I said, the bandits. It's, it's not an easy road, you know, to... Like, even if you ask to cut off the banana stripe, you see one. You know, so I guess for, for, for everything nice that you want in your life, it's a, it's a struggle and, until you get to the greener pastures. So, Tiri Mungima, Tiri Mungima. Yeah, sure. I was just going to go to the studio. I was just going to go to the studio. Which are project in six months mm -hmm. in their mood, mm -hmm. but yeah. you have to factor in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I believe in, uh, in rewarding mm -hmm. each other for whatever it is we're doing, whether it's a big reward or small. So at the end of the day, in everything that we're doing, it, it, it's, it's a small thing. Because you, you need to reward yourself for the next person, whatever effort it is. Now we're reading work. Still we need your work so that you, you boost each other for the next level that you're going through. So it's, it's, it's a journey. It's a journey. Yeah, sure. But yeah, bittersweet struggle to get to the, to the nice bits. Okay. So for now we are taking a short break. Shadzuka Chikuru Kura Zukari and Nicola um Zirimaring any genia music. For my last week. 